Question number 26 says, a ball is moving on a smooth horizontal surface with velocity 2i cap plus 2j cap. Strikes a smooth ball in yz plane. The coefficient of restitution between ball and wall is half. The velocity of ball just after it hits the wall is. Now dear students, for the wall which is in yz plane, the normal would be along x direction. That is, the line of impact would be along x-axis. And therefore, to calculate the coefficient of restitution, we must choose the component of velocity along i cap only. Now, dear students, we must also know that the velocity which is perpendicular to the line of impact remains unchanged. Therefore, this component of the velocity would remain unchanged. However, this component would change. We can write down the coefficient of restitution as velocity of separation by velocity of approach. Herein, let the velocity of separation be v, then the velocity of approach is 2. We can find out that v to be equal to 2e. Herein, since e is given to be half, the velocity of separation would be equal to 1 meter per second. Now, dear students, we must also acknowledge the fact that the direction of this velocity would change and become opposite to the initial velocity. And hence, the final velocity can be written to be equal to minus 1 i cap plus 2 j cap meter per second. And hence, the correct answer for this particular question is option number 2. Now, dear students, let us proceed to question number 27. Question number 27 says, two blocks A and B of mass M and 2M respectively are connected by a light spring of spring constant K. This arrangement is placed on a frictionless surface with its spring in its natural length. A third block C of mass M moving in the line joining A and B collides elastically with A. The maximum compression in this spring is. Now dear students, let us draw the diagram for this question. As per the question, there are two blocks A and B and they are connected by a spring. A third block C comes towards A and strikes A. Now dear students, it is given to us that the initial velocity of the block C is V. Now dear students, since this is an elastic collision, just after the collision, the velocities would interchange and A would acquire a velocity V while C would come to rest. So the question has a figure equivalent to this, wherein A is given an initial velocity V, we have to find out the maximum compression. Now dear students, in the case of maximum compression, the velocities of A and B become same. Let us assume that the final velocities become V1. Then we can write that final momentum MV1 plus 2 MV1 would be equal to initial momentum that is MV. Also, using energy conservation, we can write that half M plus 2 M V1 square plus half Kx square is equal to half m v square. From this first equation, we can write down v1 to be equal to v by 2 and uh, substituting this in this expression, dear students, we find out x to be equal to v into under root 2m by 3k. And hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 1. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number 28. Question number 28 says, a block of mass 2 kg is moving along x-axis with speed 1 meter per second. A time-dependent force F is equal to minus T plus 4 Newton starts acting on the block along x-axis. The kinetic energy of the block at T is equal to 6 second is. Now, dear students, we know that the change in momentum due to a force is equal to the integral of f dt. On substituting the value of f, we can write that delta p is equal to minus t plus 4 
dt from 0 till 6 seconds. Dear students, here in delta p would be equal to minus t square by 2 plus 4t, we have to put the limits from 0 to 6. This would be equal to minus 18 plus 24, that will be 6 kg meter per second. Now dear students, the initial speed of the particle is given as 1 meter per second and hence the initial momentum would be equal to mass that is 2 multiplied by 1, therefore 2. We can write down delta P to be equal to final momentum minus initial momentum that will be 6 and therefore final momentum would be equal to 8 kg meter per second. Dear students, kinetic energy can be written to be equal to P square by 2m. On substituting the value of P as 8, we can write down the kinetic energy to be 8 square by 2 into mass that is 2. This will be equal to 16 joules. And hence the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Dear students, let us proceed to the question number 29. Question number 29 says, a bullet of mass m moving with speed v strikes a wooden block of mass capital M suspended with the help of a light string of length L from a rigid support and comes out with speed V by 2. The maximum angle made by a string with vertical is. Now dear students, as per the question, there is a block which is suspended with help of a string. A bullet of mass small m strikes this block with a speed V Finally, the speed of the bullet is v by 2. Let us try to find out the speed of the block. We can find out the speed of the block using conservation of linear momentum. We can write down that initial momentum mv would be equal to final momentum mv1 plus mv by 2, which means that v1 would be equal to m by 2 capital M into V. Now the students, if the block makes an angle theta with the vertical, we can use the conservation of mechanical energy and write down that half capital M V1 square would be equal to m gl 1 minus cos theta here in L1 minus cos theta is the vertical displacement of the block. On substituting the value V1 from this expression, we can find out that cos theta would be equal to 1 minus m square v square by 8 m square gl. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question is option number 2. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 30. Question number 30 says, a body of mass m starts to move on a circular path of radius r. At any instant of time, its speed is u and tangential acceleration cx. We c is a positive constant and x is distance travelled by particle. The gain in kinetic energy in one complete revolution is. Now dear students, using the work energy theorem, we can write down that change in kinetic energy would be equal to work done which will be equal to the work done by the tangential force. Here in tangential force will be equal to m into cx that is ma multiplied by dx. Here dx is the displacement along the circumference of the circle. In one revolution this displacement varies from 0 till the circumference value that is 2 pi r. Now dear students we can solve for that and write that the integral would be equal to mc x square by 2 from 0 till 2 pi r. On substituting this value in limits, we find out that delta ke is equal to 2 pi square c m r square. And hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3. 
डे स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट एस प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन 